Hey everyone, it's John here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at how we can build this thermometer style visual to measure a current value against some sort of goal. So these are pretty popular visuals for fundraising activities. So usually you have some sort of fundraising goal that you want to meet, and then you have a current value and people can see where they are in terms of uh, meeting that goal. So in this case, here's our goal, 500,000. And here's our current value. And when we change this current value, our thermometer is going to change as well. So if we reach 400,000 and press enter, our thermometer goes up and approaches the 100% goal. So let's take a look at how we can build this. We're going to be creating our thermometer in PowerPoint. And that's because PowerPoint has some shape options that Excel just doesn't have. So we need to go into the insert tab and this is where we can select different shapes to insert. And the first thing we're going to do is use this slightly curved uh, or rounded rectangle to create the thermometer. So we want something tall and skinny. And then we're going to add a circle at the bottom. And there's no circle, but there's an oval. So we'll select that. And if we hold shift, that's going to lock the ratio so that it is actually a circle. And this will be the ball at the end of our thermometer. Now, if I hold control and select the other shape there in my format uh, tab, there's some merge shape options. And so these are the options that aren't in Excel that we need to use. And we're going to combine this. So we're going to take the union. And that's going to create one single shape out of those two shapes. Uh, the next thing is we're going to add the thermometer background. So we're going to use a rectangle here. And we want this to be a little bit bigger than uh, the thermometer shape here. And now we can move these over top of each other. And then we're going to select them both again. So hold control and select them both. And then we're going to merge these together. But instead of taking the union, we're going to combine them. And that's going to uh, take a cutout of the shape inside the rectangle. So now we've got a single shape here again. And there's a hole that's our thermometer there. And we're going to change the outline of this. So uh, we're going to use a black outline. And we're going to use a white fill for our color. Now we're also going to add some little markings on this thermometer so we know how much of the thermometer is filled. So we're going to add some lines. So if we go to the insert tab again and shapes, we're going to add a small line. And we're going to increase that size a little bit. So maybe two and a quarter or a little bit smaller than that one and a half and these are going to mark off certain points on the thermometer like zero percent 25 percent and 50 percent 75 percent and 100 percent filled so we're just going to make a couple copies of this and here's our 100 percent filled line and then we're just going to approximately find our 75, 50, and 25%. And then we're going to hold shift and select all of those and go up to our format tab. And we're going to align these and we're going to align them left. So now they're perfectly aligned with each other. And we're also going to distribute them vertically. And that's going to fix my terrible attempt at finding the 75, 50, and 25% markings. So now those are exact markings for my 75, 50, and 25%. And the last thing we're going to do is also add some labels in here. So. We're just going to have 100% here. And we need to make that a little bit smaller. So maybe an 8. Now 
And then we just need to line those up with the markings. And I'm also going to adjust these so that they're centered and the text is in the middle. So that's our thermometer complete. And the last thing what, that we want to do is just select everything and go up to the Format tab and group it all together. And usually with thermometers, this part is always filled. So we're actually going to insert another shape and use it to fill that with some red. So we're going to change the color on that shape to red and the outline as well to red. And we're going to put that on there. And then we'll also send that backwards. So send it to the back. And now select everything and group those together again. And once we have our thermometer template done, we can press Control X and cut that and then paste it into Excel. Now to set this up so that it uh, this visual moves whenever we uh, change our current value against our goal. We just need to have this basic setup here. So here's my current value. So something like 156,000 uh, is my current value. And our fundraising goal is 500,000. So this is where we're going to be doing our inputs. And here off to the side, I've just referenced those numbers with a uh, formula. And this is what's going to drive our visual. So the first thing we're going to do is select both these and go up to the home tab and select some conditional formatting and we're going to use some data bars. So we're going to go for a nice solid fill and we'll pick this red and it's not quite the same color as this. So what we're going to do is go back to conditional formatting and manage our rules and just select that one and edit it and pick the right color red there and press OK, and apply, and OK. And then what we're going to do is copy this uh, single cell here, so the goal value of my data bar. And we're going to come up to the Home tab, and in the Paste Options here, there's an option to have a linked picture, so we're going to select that. And we'll just make that a little bit bigger. And we don't want that number in there. We just want the data bar. So what we're going to do is come back here and right click and format that cell. And we're going to use some custom formatting to make those numbers invisible. So if we just type in three semicolons here and press OK, it's essentially going to hide the text. So the value is still there and it's still driving our data bar, but we don't see the number then. Uh, we're going to change this shape a little bit, make it a bit longer and shorter. And what we're going to do is flip it vertically. And you can probably tell that this is what's going to drive our thermometer now. And we just need to line this up with the uh, 0 and 100%. And so just temporarily, I'm going to change this to 500,000 so that I have a full data bar. And let's just line that up there. And there. And holding control, I'm just going to select the thermometer template as well as the data bar picture. And if I go up to my format tab, I'm going to, oh, actually, I'm just going to select the data bar first and go to my format tab and send that backwards because I want it behind the thermometer template. So send it back. And now I'm going to select both of those objects and group them together. And here we go. Now if I play around with this number here, my current value, 
you can see that it drives that thermometer. So here I'm at 25% of my goal. Here I'm somewhere between 50 and 75%, etc. And because these are grouped together, you can of course uh, play around with this and resize it. And everything's gonna work nicely there. So that's how you can make a pretty cool looking thermometer visual for a current value, like a fundraising value against a goal. We can use shapes and use power pivot to merge our shapes together to cut out holes and things like that. And then back in Excel, we can use some conditional formatting. So specifically data bars to drive the thermometer visual for our current value against our goal. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.